kind of question conversations that they kept happening. So, this is called my pants. <laughs> What's in your pants? I don't fucking know, Sandra. The question is... <laughs> question I get time, time again, because nobody can comprehend that I am non-binary. What's in your pants? What about my pants? I'm wearing a nice red lacy thong on the Calvin Klein boxes, but that doesn't mean I have a penis. Well, am I? Who knows? What's in your pants? Why don't you come and have a look and see? Nudge, nudge, wink. Whoa, that wasn't an invitation. Please step away from me. What's in your pants? It's a fucking mystery! Cool Scooby-Doo, they can all mask my genitalia since this kind fella asked me. What's in your pants? Well, if I was a superhero, it would be justice. If I was a supervillain, it would be malice. But I'm neither, or am I? What's in your pants? Does it matter, Sandra? Come on. <laughs> I'm so sorry for anyone named Sandra. Something's happened. Should I just Come yell? Oh, it's not to you. I think you get. Oh, I'm working. Yeah, we're working. Yeah, we're working. Yeah. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. I can just yell if it comes yeah. to that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we're on. Okay. Sorry for the name, Sandra. <laughs> What's in your pants? Does it matter, Sandra? Come on. Can't we just talk about my top? It's hella cute. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> One is called Villain, it's a bit longer. I thought of myself as ambitious and cunning, a new point of view upon the world that would change society for the better. I thought I was the hero, no, I am the hero of my tale. My tale of war and oppression, my tale of fear and depression, the tale in which I overcame every hardship I have had. I faced every fiery demon in which spat in my eye. I conquered every war that declared upon my thing quality of life. Not Superman, not Wonder Woman, but I. Was it so wrong to want to be loved? Is it so wrong to want to feel as though you belong? Because I do. I try to, and because of this, I have been deemed wicked and vile. Wicked, they call me. Satan, they sneer at me. All I want is to see friend and family and eyes that gaze upon me. I want someone to hold me. I want someone to pull me into an embrace and tell me that they love. No, I don't. I don't want that. I want to be valued as an individual, whether I am wicked or not. And my voice shall echo up the mountain tops till my name is in the sky. Let them sneer at me, let them snarl, let them glare and grovel at my misery. And yes, let them call me wicked, cruel, and virtuous harlot. Let them call me villain. Villain, a character whose actions hold evil and criminal and wrongdoer. I shall bear that name, bear that curse, this malediction of freedom and serenity. For I still hold importance as an outward villain. What is a hero? But wait, if I myself is a hero among men, then can I call myself both villain and hero? But of course, a hero resigns within this stole cage of a frozen heart, beating loudly as if under floorboards. A hero which is morally grey, but a hero nonetheless. But grasping at my burning lungs and twisting my inside is a hark of malishness, the delicious malice, and drinking po and drinking poison from a silver chalice is the name villain, vile and in vain, but villain nonetheless. So call me by my true nature, my true nature in which to my truth the gods declare if there are any. When I was born, the pagan gods to care a chase kiss upon my innocent mind and declared me villain. Villain I am, villain as I breathe, villain in which my bones and my blood that was given to me but the very lips that declared me and my calling, so villain I shall be. Until my last breath hitches in my throat like rope intertwined with my sorrow, my name shall be from this day villain. For a villain is crucial, a villain is purpose. A villain does to what those who are too scared to do, too scared to act, too scared to speak. A villain does it for them. In that frame, a villain is a secret hero in themselves, and so I wear my villain proudly. No one can take this away from me. Yeah. Yeah.